today we are going to discuss about measurements of scale as i told you in my first video uh, today we are going to discuss about very important topic that's about so if i explain you what is the objective of today video today my objective is to make and understanding about what are the measurement of scale so at the end of this video you will able to answer what are the measurement of a scale okay first I like to give you a summary idea what's about today video today we are discussing the levels of measurement in the other way we can call it as measurement of scale in another way of saying that similar word is measurement of data likewise Okay, the, there are four categories that means we can see four levels of measurements if not four scales of measurements the there is an order there is a hierarchy so the first category if not the first stage is nominal it's just named variable the next one you can see ordinal Next one is the ordinal, number 2. Then the nominal, here there is an order. That is the difference between first category to next category. The improvement is there is an order. There may be some named and numbers. Likewise, the objective of here is to name. Here there is something, another into there that is order. The third step is interval. In the interval, you can see there is the name, order and what is the new thing, what is the improvement in that stage is proportionate interval between variables. Okay, now you know there are three steps. We have completed three steps. Now we are in the last one. The fourth step is ratio. Then we can see these three characteristics there as well as this one can accommodate absolute zero then uh, when i am discussing this is in detail you can understand what mean by this through zero sometimes you can see there are some similarities in between interval and ratio but there's two are different in the absolute zero okay using this slide i'm focusing to describe the nominal data what mean by the dominant nominal data that is classified into categories and cannot be arranged in any particular order so you should keep it in your mind there is no order in nominal stage but they are using only for just nominate even though there may be some letters or some uh, numerical values those are just because of nominal just because of nomination okay then as an example we can use eye color gender religious affiliations for this one okay then i like to explain another example here suppose that i am asking a question about your flavorism about a product suppose that it's a jam it's a fruit jam so i am giving you five option i give number one for your most favorite uh, the number two is flavor number three is no idea number four is you don't like number five is hate so one two three four five numbers are representing your five ideas so i used these four five numbers just for nominating five feelings if not five ideas so in that way those numbers are used as named so that is the way of using nominal level if not nominal data so when you are doing a research or some study or some statistical evaluation you may have to deal with this kind of data so now you know these are for nominal so when you are going for the further higher statistical analysis you do not forget about the level of those variables 
those are nominal. So when you are using this kind of a thing in a regression model, there is a special pattern. We cannot apply in the just way of doing a simple law, multiple linear regression or ordinal law, uh, some other kind of regression model. You should keep it in your mind. That's about the nominal scale. So that those are the common errors some um, people are doing when they are using the statistics. But as the participant who are hearing for this video, you should avoid this kind of misuses in the statistical field because that may that absolutely generate spurious and incorrect uh, incorrect results. So it's useless of doing incorrect things, it's, uh, you're just wasting your time. And you are, if if you are going for a publication, that that makes a social harm. So you should not be uh, late to do so, so you can improve the field. Okay, here there is a nice example. Okay, then it's about some another uh, classification. It's easier to understand you. Okay, let's move to the first step. Uh, it's about to categorize variable flowchart. Are there more than two categories? Suppose that if I ask a gender from you, there are two categories only, male and female or some maybe another. So if there are only two, at that moment if you consider only about male and female, uh, if you say yes, you can move to the next step, the yellow color steps. If your answer was no, if you consider about uh, some... Um, male, female and other categories also, you, your answer is no. So at that moment, if there are more than two categories, what you should do? If there are more than two categories, you need to shift to next step. If, you, if there are no more than two categories, if there are just two categories, you can shift to this step. That is dichotomous variable. If there are only two categories, that is dichotomous. So if there are more than two categories, you can come to this stage. Can the categories be ranked order? So we can give an order to those ranks. So if they can be ordered, you can move to next step, the red color step. If we cannot give any order for those categories, you can shift for this step. That's about nominal data. As the example I explained you early, uh, using five numbers for five feelings of favorism. So if that situation like that, you can move to the that variable is called nominal. Then if we can give an order, we can come to next step. Are the distance between categories equal? Now we should consider about the interval in between each scale. The scales are equal, we can move to the blue color step. If these order are not equal, we can move to we can end up with the red color step that's called ordinal variable is in ordinal level. So if the categories and order, the distance in between these ordered and the, as well as the categories, if these are equal, if your answer was yes, we can say it as the variable is interval. It's a similar way, it's a simple way to make you aware what is the level of your variable. By using this step, you can understand what is the level of your um, variable. I think there, there is no any point of explaining the ratio scale here, but you can understand what mean by the ratio scale later. Okay, uh, next one. That's about ordinal. Now you already know there are some categories as well. There should be an order in the ordinal scale. Ordinal data classified variables into categories which have a natural order of rank. We can use a similar word as rank for the order. There are some examples here. School grades A, B, C. I think uh, all of we are familiar with some uh, grading systems from some studies in Sri Lanka. Uh, we are using ABC for the GCO level, A levels. So we know A is 
somewhat higher marks than the B. Likewise, the education level. Uh, if I consider about the Sri Lanka qualification framework, according to that, we can understand what are the uh, what is the hierarchy of education in Sri Lanka. Then, if we move with another country, it's also something similar like that. So, the master degree is somewhat higher education level than the bachelor's. So, PhD was, um, is the most highest education qualification according to Sri Lanka qualification framework in, in, in the Sri Lankan context. Okay. Seniority level. Then, senior is the most highest one. Mid one is the uh, in between the lower and higher. Junior is the is we are using some junior terms for the freshers if you consider about the university system there is only already these two some uh, two terms among these are most probably used senior and junior okay uh, how is all data analyzed actually uh, after we discuss about the levels of uh, scales levels of measurements then we should know how do we analyze those things? Actually, uh, we use nominal data also. Uh, we can parallel use this technique, but not all. Um, okay. I think all of you know about the uh, basic classification of a statistic. That's about descriptive statistic and inferential statistic. I will explain these two in detail later because still I am in the introductory part of your course. Okay. In the descriptive statistic, we can use frequency distribution. Under that uh, mode, median range, we can analyze. As well as in the inferential statistic also, there are two categories. Uh, I think all of you are well aware about that. That's parametric, non-parametric. That's another kind called the Bayesian statistic also. But most probably, we are using parametric and non-parametric. So. Uh, we can use this is original data for some non-parametric statistical test also. Okay, just as uh, just example for ordinal data set, then you can uh, see this chili. Uh, it's um, hot, hotter, and hotter. So uh, then, uh, uh, if we compare the green category with yellow category. Then that those images are represent the, uh, if you consider about the hot uh, yellow color chilies are more hotter than the red. Among these all things, red color chilies are the hottest. So it's a nice image about again to the previous one. Suppose then under this range we are calling that zero. It's it's does not mean there is no any income for that. That means about there is no any person in between. Here, here we are not considering about any range. Here we are directly taking the frequency. So if we have say that no any point in here, that means no any income. Okay, we can use these similar things for the analysis, but more than that, we can use some ANOVA test, analysis of variance. Why we are using this? We are going to compare more than two groups. That's why we are using ANOVA. We can discuss about that in detail later. So these are the things we can use. Okay, here I again highlighted the difference between interval and ratio. Ratio is an interval measure with the two zero point. Actually, that is a subset of interval. Ratio is coming. The origin of ratio is the interval. So it's a uh, interval, but the difference between difference is ratio has through zero. As an example, temperature, age, length of time, number of uh, fruit serving, number of groups, number of A's uh, received in college. Okay, here I again make a summary about what we have discussed. If you are uh, well here for this video, you should be able to answer the first question. What are the measurement of scale? What are the levels of scale? Uh, if you well aware, if you clearly hear to this video, you should understand these things. Under the nominal range, we can have only categories. Under the ordinal level, we can have categories as well as uh, we can have categories as well as rank order. There is an order. 
the, under the interval scale there may be categories there may be ranks orders and equal space the difference between here we have equal space in the ratio we can have categories we can have rank as well as we can have equal space more than that there should be a through zero that is the important in ratio okay here it is another step that is uh, taking about the hierarchy ordinal level is higher than the nominal interval is higher than these two and ratio level is the highest and uh, in the uh, hierarchy we discuss about in the first video what are the classification of data so we can recategorize these four into two that means the nominal and ordinal we can consider as the qualitative data most of time we can have this kind of phenomenon under the qualitative variables and we can call it as the categorical data as well as the uh, interval and uh, ratio scales we can present under the quantitative here there are another two terms we can use the interval and ratio on behalf of these two that is about the quantitative data as well as we can we can say it as the uh, here there are categorical here they are numerical okay uh, here again this is a summary image about what we have discussed nominal ordinal interval and ratio so you can re remind you okay this is the image i showed you at the first video so now you can brief what is about so all things are here now so by using this kind of a similar table you can understand what we have discussed so far okay that is the end of today video so if you have any question you can make it as a comment for this video then i can definitely answer for you through you as a reply for your comment if not as in through a new video okay